Rochester, New York. Within the halls of Blue Cross Arena, the RMU Colonials prepare as one. They are slotted to face the Niagara Purple Eagles, a longtime rival. They followed the team from the CHA to the AHA and continue to be a menace. But in this game, it's not about defeating the opponent. It's about winning. Winning. Something these 26 athletes were not familiar with until recently. The Colonials experienced a fall from grace in the first half of the season. Only two of 14 games were won. They entered the Three Rivers Classic as reigning champions and exited without a single win. But with the change in calendar, a new team emerged. All of the disjointed pieces fell into place and the W's followed. Eleven of 18 games were won. Playoffs were no challenge. This team was proving to be a force, ready for whatever adversity was thrown their way. At 9.30 p.m., the Colonials would begin what was to be one of the most intense and emotional weekends of their lives. Everyone's going here, everyone's going here. Say, reach! Yeah, here we go, Chad. Yeah, we got to go. Here we go, boys. Here we go. It's midnight. RMU and Niagara continue to battle it out on the ice. The chilled air is tense and as thick as the ice they skate on. Scott Jacklin scored the goal that would give the Colonials a chance to achieve something no other team in program history has been able to do. The very next night, RMU would face the Canisius Golden Griffins in the Atlantic Hockey Association Championship game. Just like the last time the pair met, the Griffs would not go down without a fight, but the Colonials fought harder. Robert Morris matched each of their goals, and then some. Every line was clicking. Systems were near perfection. Each player poured their heart and soul onto that ice because they believed, because they had something to prove. All of their grit and tenacity paid off. At the end of the game, the Colonials were right where they should be, at the top. Few teams have tasted a victory as sweet as RMU's. In the beginning, every player had a spark. Somehow, somewhere, those sparks combined to ignite a firestorm. That fire raged on the ice that weekend, and may it continue to burn.